You're probably wondering how this video can help you with your music journey. I'm about to break it down and show you. So without further ado. Hit that smash button and like it. Subscribe, it's awesome. What's up everybody, Garrett from Track Sounds here, multi-time billboard charting music producer and music marketing expert. Here to give you some game on some random videos I saw on the internet that I thought will apply very well to a lot of my artists and musicians and producers out there. I do have a question at the day though. What is your favorite festival you have been to? I'm talking just, just going necessarily. Didn't have to perform. Which one's your favorite that you have been to? I've been to quite a few Rolling Louds, but Astro World in Houston, Texas still probably has been my favorite. It was a crazy, crazy night. So this is gonna be a rather short video and it's gonna be a little different than some other ones. This video that was going viral on Twitter, I think is a visual masterclass on people's journeys going through music. Let's play the video and then I'll talk about it as we go through. <laughs> Boom. Big fancy studio, locked in, let's do it. And now I have muted the original song that was in there, it was Santa Gold, but I'm gonna put my own beat behind it so I don't get a copyright strike. So just enjoy the visual of it and groove to my beat a little bit. So you notice, it's just one person in a very small supportive group right around at the beginning. This happens for a long time too. Everybody's looking at him crazy. They don't really know what he's doing. He's trying for so long, so hard to get somebody to join him. And this is one person so far riding for the longest. He's just grooving his little heart out. Those dance moves are killing me. Okay, we got our third person falling. Starting to get a little steam now, huh? They're just going crazy, I love it. Oh wow, more people. More people. More people. This is, see what happens when you keep trying and consistency? People are, are running, people are running to get there now. But the crowd keeps getting bigger and bigger, but there's two main points I wanna point out for all producers and artists out there. As you can see, for the first half of that video, everybody was looking at that person crazy. They did not see their end goal. The guy did not care though. He just wanted to do what he wanted to do. He had one small supporter up there at first, and this shows how critical your first supporters are. They validate you for a lack of better words. You need to be so engaged with some of your first supporters and really treat them like family because this is how you can grow and build up into that crowd that you saw at the end. How that crowd even built up though, that is the power of incremental gains. What that means is when you keep doing something consistently over and over and over, you may be making very small gains, stuff you can't even see sometimes. But the power of, of incremental gains over time, you're eventually just gonna explode when you get to that point where you've been putting in so much work that it just kept building, 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 building a little bit. If you times everything by 0.01 and just keep timesing it every single day, your gains are just gonna skyrocket if you look at numbers or anything like that. And it's the same with fans. So the two points that I really wanted to come out of this is to see Sometimes at the beginning of your career in whatever you're doing, it does not, there's people that are not gonna support you and they're gonna look crazy. And in the end, you're gonna look like a genius. And then the second thing, and the second thing is make sure to truly appreciate your early fans. They are gonna be such a sense of validation for you telling everybody else about you, feeling like they're early on the train. This is so huge in going forward. And the third thing is power of incremental gains. Sometimes we always look at the big picture of things, which is good, you need big goals, but you cannot forget to celebrate your small wins in music, otherwise you're gonna get burnt out so quick. If you finish a song, if you finish a beat, if you do it a different way, if you make a small sale, anything like that, celebrate your small wins, I promise you will last much longer in music and avoid the burnout. This was just kind of a little goofy little video I wanted to go into, but I really wanted to just hone in some mindset for you, the artists and producers out there that this guy had the perfect mindset and it was a perfect way to visually represent it without just bashing in your head of like, hey, you gotta just keep trying sometimes. So with that being said, please like, comment, subscribe if you thought there was any value to this. I do have a lot of bigger tutorials with way more information out there and I'm putting them up daily. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you particularly wanna see and until then, see y'all tomorrow, peace.
Smash it! Smash the like button, please. Like this channel. Garrett is awesome.